Good morning, good morning, good morning. Wake up, share this with your friends, invite your followers. Hello, Kentucky, Chicago, good morning. New Jersey came expecting. Hallelujah, share, invite. Getting down to the brass tacks today. of decrees in about one minute come on get this shared invite share crank it up somebody needs a breakthrough today Mississippi, I'm coming your way. It's official. 
Makatam Rashti Heshe Holy 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 Every song about holiness always just grabs my heart. Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, author of our devotional, Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still, small voice of God. I'm the senior leader of the Awakening House of Prayer, headquarters, global headquarters in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, expanding to the nations of the earth. Come see us, founder of the Ignite Network. Today's devotion titled, Don't Doubt. Now that'll preach. Here's what I heard the Lord say. Doubt is the doorway to unbelief. Doubt is a cousin of fear and suspicion. It blocks discernment. The enemy wants you to walk in, in the curse of doubt. He wants you to worry day and night. But Jesus came to redeem you from the curse. Father has given you the measure of faith that opens the doorway to his promises. Resist doubt as you would resist the devil and let your faith rise as you meditate on the blessings I've promised you. Amen. Somebody needs to go listen to that about a hundred times until it sinks all the way in. Today's scripture references Galatians 3 verse 13, Romans 12 verse 3, and Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. And the prayer starter for today, show me when doubt is trying to enter my soul. Give me a discerning spirit so I can recognize the enemy's attempts to muddy my faith with his lies. I submit myself to you. Give me the strength to resist the devil so that he will flee in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you today for your grace, for you're so gracious. Your grace is sufficient for us, for every trial that we find ourselves in the midst of, for every difficult circumstances that's facing us down, us. we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory, the God of all grace, the God of all wisdom, the God of all mercy, the God of all strength. We lean and depend on you, our God, not on our own understanding. We will not be wise in our own eyes. We will not think more highly of ourselves than we ought, but we will think highly of you, the most high God. We praise you. We celebrate your goodness and your glory. We celebrate your grace. We celebrate your long suffering. Oh, thank you, Lord. That that you suffer long with us, God. That you don't discard us at the first sign of trouble. That you don't cast us away at the first sign of rebellion. That you don't just take and turn your back upon us at the first sign of disobedience. God, we need your grace today. We need your grace. We need your mercy. We need a revelation of your love, who you are, who we are in you. God, would you visit us today? Lord, Lord, visit us today. God, I'm asking you, encounter our hearts, God, with revelation, with the truth that we need, each one individually and also us together as a corporate family, as a corporate body, as believers of, in and of your son, Jesus Christ. God, we love you. We need you. We need your help because the days aren't always easy and the nights are, are sometimes long. God, would you help us today? Would you help us today to recalibrate our heart, to recalibrate our minds, to stop trying to figure out everything on our own, to stop looking at the past and start looking at you, to start looking out into the future for that hope, that plan, that will, that goodness, that breakthrough that you have already ordained for us, God. We thank you, Lord, that you preordained our life. All of the days of our life are written in your book. You already know what's going to happen 10 years 
years from now. We don't have to fear because we know that you know what's going to happen. And we know that you know and that you have planned and purposed for us good things. You are not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should repent. You have a good plan for us. Our future does not have to be bleak and scary, even if our yesterday was horrifying. It doesn't have to be bleak and, and, and doom and gloom. Our future doesn't have to be one that we worry about. Our future doesn't have to be fearful. Our future doesn't have to be these things are the strategy and the assignment of the enemy. The enemy enemy comes ah, to kill, steal, and destroy. But you, Jesus Christ, you came. You told us that you came. You decreed and declared that you came to give us life. And not just a life of sorrow, not a life of pain, not a life of angst, not a life of anxiety, not a life of fear, not a life of poverty, not a life of misery. You didn't come just to give us any old kind of life. You didn't come just to give us life like an existence, barely getting by, just drudgery, mundaneness every day, every day. That's not the kind of life that you came to give. You told us in John 10 and verse 10 that the enemy comes to kill. The enemy comes to destroy. The enemy comes to steal. And God, he's done a good job. He's done a good job. He's done a good job at wreaking havoc in our lives and our families and our finances and our souls and our bodies. He's done a good job at his ministry. But there's no one more excellent than you. And when you told us that you came to give us life, you described what kind of life you want us to live. It's a life of abundance. I came to give you life to the full in abundance until it overflows. You came not just to give us any old kind of life. You came to give us a life overflowing. Not overflowing with sorrow, but overflowing with joy. Not overflowing with chaos, but overflowing with peace. Not overflowing with sickness. Not overflowing with disease, but overflowing with healing power and divine health. You came to give us life. You came to give us life. That Zoe life. The very life of God. God, the life of power, the life of joy, the life of peace, the life of prosperity, the life, oh Jesus, the very life of God on the inside of us, Christ in us, the hope of glory. So we will no longer look upon our past with shame and look upon our past with regret and look upon our past with resentment, but we will look to our future with hope. <sighs> With hope and with joy, with great expectation, like the Charles Dickens book, Great Expectations, we will look to our future with great expectations and a great God. We will look to our future with great hope and the God of hope. We will look to our future with great excitement to the God that gives us and makes us new. All things new. Father, we give you praise and honor and glory today because you are able to take the most horrifying situation. You are able to turn death into life. You are able to resurrect the things that the enemy still stole and killed and destroyed in the past. You are able. You are able. You are able. You are able. Jesus told the Pharisees, God is able to raise up sons out of these stones. God can make anything. He can do anything. He is our everything. And we celebrate you, God, today as our everything. Jesus Christ, the all in all. You are everywhere all the time. You exist in every plane and in every dimension. If we went down to the pits of hell, you would be there. You are everywhere. You are omnipresent. Help us to remember that you are the friend that sticks closer than a brother. Help us to remember that you are as close to us as we want you to be. Help us to be not only aware of ourselves and aware of our emotions and aware of our regrets and aware of our pain, but help us, Lord, to be aware of the one who makes the regrets into something beautiful, turns beauty Turns ashes into beauty. Gives us beauty for ashes. Help us, Lord, to look at you as the one 
who has all the answers because you do. And we do, God. We want your wisdom. We want your answers. We want your solutions. We want to do it your way, God. We don't want to be wise in our own eyes, haughty, thinking we know it all, and then running to you only after we've made such a big mess of it that we've got nowhere else to go. We want to be those who press in to the reality that you have help in every moment. Your word says you're a very present help in a time of need. God, give us an awareness of our state, of the weakness of our frame. You remember that we are dust. Help us to remember that we are but dust and lean on you with our entire personality. Lean on you with our whole mind, our whole heart, our whole will. Help us, Lord, to stop willfully obeying the devil. Oh, Help us, Lord, to stop willfully obeying the wicked one. Help us, Lord, to stop willfully obeying that voice. You, you told us in your word, my sheep know my voice, and the voice of another they will not follow. The voice of a stranger they will not follow. The strangest one I know is the enemy. He is a stranger to me. I don't let him in my house. I don't give him a ride in my car. I don't want to give him access to my life. He is a stranger to me. I know who he is, but he is a foreigner to me. He is not welcome in my mind. He is not welcome in my house. He is not welcome in my ministry. He is not welcome in my family. He is not welcome. He is not welcome. He is not welcome. I just saw a picture. Somebody needs to roll up the welcome mat. Because some of you have rolled out. You've rolled out the welcome mat for the devil. What? What? Don't get offended. I'm trying to help you. You have rolled out the welcome mat for the devil. And you've invited him to come on in. He's knocking on the door. And you answered the call. You responded to the voice. That demonic doorbell. Ding dong. That demonic doorbell. And you didn't recognize it as the voice of God. It didn't sound like the voice of Jesus. But you responded anyway. I responded anyway. We rolled out the red carpet. The welcome mat for the devil. And just said, oh, come on in. Not knowing for real that it was the enemy. Being deceived by an emotion in the moment, agreeing with the wicked one because of a stirring of a painful memory of the past, giving him space in our mind, allowing him to sow a vain imagination into our heart, coming into agreement with the whispers, the accusations, the lies. Father, help us, Lord, to break agreement with the enemy who wants to come around in cycles, in circles, and introduce memories of painful experiences to try to lure us back in to that moment in time when our heart was broken, that moment in time when it all fell apart, that moment in time that no longer exists except in our memories God, help us to stop taking the bait. Help us, Lord, to get out of the cycle where the enemy can just pull our strings like a puppet master. Help us, Lord, to cut ties with these painful memories of the past so that the devil can't play and pray, P-R-E-Y, upon us. I just saw, I just saw a picture of a puppet master and it's just, it's like some of you just have all these strings that the enemy can pull and he's got you dancing like a fool and you do the dance with the enemy, you, you go back and you recount and rehash and reassess and realize and, and he's got you doing this dance, this emotional dance. And it's the same pattern, and you see it. Today, it's time to cut ties. 
to the painful memories of the past and let those painful memories of the past give way to hopeful expectations of the future. I decree it in the name of Jesus. I decree that painful memories from yesterday and yesteryear and yesterdecade, they give way now in the name of Jesus to hopeful expectations of the future because you are the God of hope and you've not called us to walk around with our heads hung low, looking down at our feet, wondering what we're going to trip over next. But you've called us to keep our heads held high, to look upon you, to gaze upon your beauty, the one who restores and makes all things new. God, heal our hearts today. Heal our emotions today. Lord, just let your healing balm of Gilead be poured out over us today to go through the crevices, every nook, every cranny, every unhealed place, every little tiny itsy bitsy scratch even God heal it some of you have gaping wounds they're still bleeding some of you have wounds that are oozing with infection of bitterness and infection of resentment and infection of unforgiveness it's time to forgive it's time to let go it's time to stop expecting another bad thing to happen just because so many bad things have already happened it's time to break the cycle of enemy attack it's time to stop expecting the devil to come and take everything you have and instead take a stand for everything that you have it's time to take a stand for everything that you have to preserve it to keep it you are the tender of your garden oh you are the one that has the authority to tell the devil out of my domain Get out of my domain. Get out of my mind. Get out of my memory. Stop playing me like a puppet. Get out of my family in Jesus' name. Get out of my finances. They don't belong to you. Get out. Get out. Get out. I serve eviction notice on the enemy today. We evict you. I declare by the force of law, by the word of the living God, devil, you are evicted. We say no. No more, no longer will we be played like puppets. No longer will we allow the enemy to come into our mind and stir up memories of things that were so long ago that nobody else even remembers them but us. God, help us. You take our sin as far as the east is from the west. You cast them into the sea of forgetfulness. You choose to remember them no more. You don't forget you're not a forgetful he's not beloved he's not a forgetful god listen to me god almighty is not a forgetful god he hasn't forgotten what happened to you but you need to he hasn't forgotten the wrong that was done to you listen to me he has not forgotten the injustice that came into your life he has not forgotten the betrayals he has not forgotten the abandonments he has not forgotten the sins that were committed against you when you were just trying to be a friend you were just trying to be a good employee whatever he has not forgotten and vengeance is is his vindication is yours but vengeance is his vindication is yours but vengeance is his he has not forgotten those things but he's saying to you today you need to choose not to remember you need to choose not to think about it you need to choose not to be in such great anxiety of the next shoe dropping you need to choose not to remember God hasn't forgotten he'll make it right Romans 8 and 28 is still true God works all things together for the good to those who love him and are called according to his purpose instead of thinking back on the pain instead of thinking back on the incident instead of thinking back on what they did and what they said and what they might do next get busy with loving God and fulfilling your calling and your purpose Get busy doing your side of Romans 8 and 28. The Bible says God works all things together for the good to those who love him and are called according to his purpose. So instead of looking and talking and thinking about what they did and all the things that happened and the tragedy that ensued, begin just to love him. 
and focus on your calling and your purpose he will work out the rest he will heal your mind he will heal your body he will heal your finances he will heal he will bring healing he will work it for good he will bring it back around full circle higher measure he will do it we have to do our part beloved we have to forgive we have to stop meditating on the pain we have to stop stirring up our emotions, allowing the enemy to stir up our emotions. Watchman Nee said that emotions are the, the believer's number one enemy. So, Father, help us today. I decree, come on, you need to decree some things. You need to let the, the, the uh, what do you call the thing the judge uses? Pop, 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 whatever that, the, the mallet or whatever it's called. You need to let that, you need to just, you just need to, to just, 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 I rule, I judge. I decree that these painful memories of the past have no more hold over me. And then you need to take action in line with the decree. Because long, listen, beloved, this is the year of the decree. I've been talking to you, we're in 30 days of the decree. Now you can decree 10 years from now and you could have decreed five years from, from before now. But this is, this is the year where the Lord is trying to restore this understanding of the power of a decree. But you can decree a thing all day long, but if you're going to go decree something else to your friends, then you're negating your own decree. So don't decree painful memories and have no hold over you and then go sit down and think about it later because then you're being double-minded. The Bible says, don't get mad at me now, I'm trying to help you. The Bible says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways Peter told the church in 1st Peter 5 and 8 to be stable to be sober minded to be watchful because the enemy is roaming around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour who does he devour the unstable if he can get you into some instability it's a lot easier to devour you think of somebody walking on a tightrope as long as they stay focused on the end platform, on the other side, as long as they stay focused. They're not focusing on the crowd cheering or people screaming or the imaginations in their mind that I'm going to fall, 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 I'm going to fall. They're focused on that platform, the other side. If they begin to look down, if they begin to look anyplace else, they will begin to get unstable. They will begin to lose their balance and they would fall. Thank God they have a safety net. Thank God we have a safety net. When we fall, Jesus Christ is there to, 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 to catch us. A righteous man falls seven times, but he gets back up again. Get back up again. Come on. Keep on getting back up. Keep on rising. You can do it. You can do this. The painful memories of the past only have the power over you that you give them. Come on, decree with me. I decree in the name of Jesus, painful memories of the past give way to hopeful expectations of the future. I decree in the name of Jesus that painful memories of the past give way to hopeful expectations of the future. I decree in the name of Jesus that painful memories of the past give way to hopeful expectations of the future. I decree, oh, come on, we're going somewhere, it's like a hammer, 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 I decree, painful memories of the past, give way now to hopeful expectations of the future, in the name of Jesus, I decree, that trauma is broken, in the name of Jesus, I decree, that post-traumatic stress disorder, give way to the healing power of God now, in the name of Jesus, I decree, that the the anger of the past season that stirs you up at inconvenient times is broken in the name of Jesus. I decree it. I declare it. I proclaim the goodness of God. I thank you, Lord, that you are the God of our past, present, and future. I thank you, Lord, that you can interrupt every enemy cycle, every demonic agenda, every vicious circle. God, break in with light and interrupt the cycle. God, break in with power and overcome 
overcome our enemies. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. We praise you. We give you honor. We give you glory. We're so grateful to you, Jesus. There's no other God like you. You are magnanimous. You are the giving God. You are the one who makes all things new, not just some things new, not just a few things new. You make all things new, and we love you, God. We're going to focus on our purpose. We're going to focus on our calling. We're not going to allow ourselves to be ensnared by the enemy's trap of yesterday. Oh, I just see a big trap. It looks like a mouse trap, and it says, yesterday, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. It's like a rat trap. It's a big, giant, life-size, man-size uh, uh, rat trap, and on it, it says, yesterday, ah, and there's bait in it called memories. Oh, God, would you help us to stop taking the bait in Jesus' name? Stop taking the bait called pain. Stop taking, stepping into the trap called yesterday. Oh, God, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, not to be ensnared by the enemy's traps in the name of Jesus. But we will rise up with discernment and we will see that trap. We will not take that bait called yesterday, called pain, called discouragement, called depression, called hopelessness. We will not take that bait, but we will take the joy of the Lord. We will take the peace of God. We will take the strength and power that is in you and the help that comes from your spirit and the comfort that comes from you yourself. You comfort us. You are our advocate. You are our standby. You are our intercessor. You're always praying for us because you love us and you want to see us make it even when Satan comes to sift you. I see that, Lord. Some of you have been sifted in this season. <laughs> there's times when the enemy will come and ask the God for permission to sift you like he did with Peter and this is something that happens to intercessors quite a lot and I remember Michelle and Linda telling me about how intercessors go through these periods of sifting in particular we all do but I see that Lord so, Father, we thank you that even in the moments of sifting, that you would help us to stand strong. Help us not to deny you, your word, our calling. Help us not to embrace what the enemy is telling us, whispering to us in those times of sifting. But help us to overcome. Because we are overcomers. We are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. We are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. We can conquer our past. We can conquer even the most horrific past. We can conquer the pain of the past. And we shall. I decree it. I decree you are winners. You are overcomers. You are not victims. I decree you are victorious in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. And amen. 30 days of the decree, the year of the decree, day seven. Here we are. We are getting free from the pain of the past. We're walking into the future and hope. I decree it so. Done deal in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. God is good. I want you to sow a seed today if you can. I want you to help me get these Facebook posts boosts, travel to these other nations, get the staff in-house that I need to do what God's called me to do. If this ministry is blessing you, please help me be a blessing to somebody else. We can do so much more together than we can do apart. Think about how much these broadcasts help you. Think about how much the replays help you. Think about how much this is affecting your life. It never fails that somebody, the first time they hear it, I come across people all the time. Oh, I heard you for the first time today. My God, it was like you were talking to me. If these broadcasts are touching your hearts, please help me to do what I'm called to do. To get these calls out further, to go to nations and preach the gospel. To build a community of believers passionate for the gospel around the earth through Awakening House of Prayer and Awakening Blaze. I want to give you an opportunity to sow today. If this touched you, please help me. Please help me do what I'm called to do. I'm helping you do what you're called to do. We're in this together. We're in it together. Hashtag, we stand together. Hashtag, 
We stand together. Hashtag, we stand together. Hallelujah. You can sow. You can become a partner at jenniferleclair.org. jenniferleclair.org slash give. You can sow there a one-time seed or you can become a partner at jenniferleclair.org slash give. You can use PayPal if you're a PayPal person, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the Cash App, dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire. Cash App, dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire. Cash App, dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire. Cash app, dollar sign, Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the text to give, 754-701-2161. Text the word pray to 754-701-2161. Text the word pray to 754-701-2161. You can use the, what am I missing? Am I missing anything? I got it all, didn't I? P.O. Box, P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303, Prophet. 33303, P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. You got it? You got it, 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 you got it. Amen. Let me pray. Father, I thank you. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to give into your kingdom, to the expansion and the proliferation of your kingdom, to the increase of your kingdom and of your government. There shall be no end. We give you praise and honor and glory. I ask you to multiply this offering back to the givers in Jesus' name. Let this be a seal on their life, a memorial to their decision to let go of the past in Jesus name. I lift up all of my awakening house of prayer church and house of prayer leaders around the world. My awakening blaze intercessory prayer leaders, my ignite network members, my staff, my donors, my givers, everyone who is touched by this ministry. Lord, I say bless them indeed. Enlarge their territory. Let their let your hand of power rest upon them. And keep them from evil in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. You can get the book, The Year of the Decree. It's on Amazon 2019, The Year of the Decree. It is on Amazon. It is on my website at jenniferleclair.org. You can read the whole prophetic word on the decree at awakeningmag.com. Don't forget about the sweepstakes. Go to morningswiththeholyspirit.com. This is the five-year anniversary of Mornings with the Holy Spirit. Go to morningswiththeholyspirit.com. Sign up. You can actually sign up a lot of times by doing certain things over and over and over. You have the opportunity to win a private prayer call with me. You have the opportunity to win devotionals and journals. You have the opportunity to win all kinds of cool stuff. Go get registered. We have... 4,628 people who have registered for this sweepstakes. Also, the Mornings with the Holy Spirit app is out. Google Play giving us a very hard time getting it up on Google, but it is up on Apple. If you're listening to this and you're not listening live, by the time you hear this, it may be on Google. The Mornings with the Holy Spirit app. Go get it. It makes it a lot easier, for, especially for those who are listening on mobile devices mornings with the holy spirit app prophetic release i will be in atlanta tonight and you better get there early because it is packed out i'll be in atlanta tonight please get there as early as you can eat a protein bar on the way get yourself in a seat atlanta i'll be there tonight Register, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. Charlotte, I will be there on Wednesday night. Charlotte, get out there. Charlotte, Tennessee, South Carolina, get up to Charlotte. Drive over to Charlotte. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. 
School of the Prophetic is on Saturday. You can find that at schoolofthespirit.tv. School of the Seers then being on Sunday. Praise the Lord. Love it when they're back to back. School of the Seers. School of the Seers. School of the Seers. This is the 12th lesson, and we're going to continue on. School of the Seers. You're a seer or seeing person. School of the Spirit.tv. Get in on this. I'll be in Kentucky later this month. New York City, I'm coming your way. Prophetic release. I'll also be at Breakthrough Church. I'll also be doing some schools up there. New York City, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. Washington, D.C. We've moved our meeting in Washington, D.C. to July, I'm sorry, January the 28th. Go sign up, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. Come on, we're doing it. I'll be in Kentucky later on this uh, month as well. Go check out my itinerary. If it's not on there, email the office. But check the itinerary first. In Jesus' name, Ignite Network. If you're not part of the Ignite Network, you want to consider being part of that. You're going to want to go to ignitenow.org. We have the Spiritual Warfare Battalion, the original Ignite, the Company of the Seers, the Company of the Scribes, the Apostolic Voices. Listen, you're going to want to get involved in this if you want to grow in these areas. If you want true community, people who are going to judge you, think you're weird, Amen. Get involved in what blesses you. Awakening Blaze, if you're an intercessor, consider getting part of being part of the Awakening Blaze prayer movement. Awakeningblaze.com is where you'll find out more about that. Want to start a house church under our covering? Awakeninghouse.com. 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 Want to launch a full-blown house of prayer? That comes through relationship. AwakeningHouseOfPrayer.com. Go to the Ministries tab. Hit Plant a Hop. God is good. We're not a mergers and acquisitions movement. We're not going around scooping up churches and changing their names to Awakening House of Prayer. This is an apostolic church planting movement. For real. And it's taking off. God is good. Am I missing anything? You got the book, The Year of the Decree, get on my mailing list. The 40 Days of the Flood Gates are being replayed on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash J.M. LeClaire, youtube.com slash J.M. LeClaire. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel because there's lots of other content there as well. God is good. Somebody say all the time. God is good all the time. God is good all the time. I put out a prophetic word yesterday on AwakeningMag.com, five prophetic predictions for 2019. Go there and read it. AwakeningMag.com. Get on the newsletter there as well. All right, guys, bless you. I'm going to teach you today because I must catch an aeroplane. One more thing, if you've not joined our online campus, ahop.online. All right, I got to go, Facebook. Be back with you later on.